attention to the quality of the floor okay when chicks get older they shed feathers so you can tell for yourself what the quality of this floor looks like and it's very important because that is where your chicks are resting and that is where they sleep so if you have very bad floors you will have issues especially wet floors wet floors are very bad See, that's my electronic scale on the floor. You see birds going on the scale. And that's how we get the weights of the birds. So, successful management of chickens like this to get weights like this in six weeks involves an integrated approach to get you have to understand how each piece of the complement affects the entire production process or production cycle. You have to understand what heat stress does to your chickens. You have to understand what uh, wet floors will do to your chickens. For example, wet floors is a perfect recipe for coccidiosis. Why? Because the parasite that causes coccidiosis is called coccidia and this protozoa grows and lives comfortably in muddy or damp or moist floors and one big problem with this protozoa is that it can move from one batch to the other it's very difficult to eliminate it once it finds itself on your poultry farm. So you don't want in the first place 
something like that being around your family. So they have been integrated approach. They also do take therapies, okay? I do give them therapies by acidic therapies, which are prepared from organic acids, and it's used to decrease the pH of their water during specific periods based on my observation. If they have some difficulties with digestion and if the manure composition or coarse droppings or cook is not very good, as per the standard that I want to see, if I suspect some bacteria activity or other pathogenic activity happening within the gut based on my assessment of their droppings, I have to step in and do something. And most often, I don't like to resort to antibiotics unless it becomes apparent that I must do that. And it is based on a veterinary doctor's recommendation. I don't want to do it blank, and I want to see a real problem or risk at hand before I take that as a last resort. Now, when you integrate all of these management practices, you pay key attention to your biosecurity, you limit visits to your farm as much as possible, you don't carry pathogens from older flocks to younger flocks. All of the small details are very important. You don't want to move from the older chicks to the younger ones because the older chicks have an advanced immune system already and they could have different pathogens. Say, for example, you walk from the older ones to the younger ones and you carry this pathogen and you introduce it to your younger flock, they could be more susceptible because of their age and you're going to suffer a lot of doing just that. So it's very important to pay close attention to this very, very simple details as a poultry farm. I don't want to give them feed that is contaminated or has mold growing on it. I don't want to give them water that is of bad quality. I make sure that every bit of the environment is to the best standard. These are some of the things that you really, really, really want to pay close attention to as a poultry farm. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on your notification bell as well so that each time I upload a new video, 